No, be careful when opening. <laughs> Whoa, it says, be careful when opening, snake. Are you serious? It's heavy. It's heavy. Maybe, is it some kind of scuba bag? A scuba. It's a scuba bag. Winoka Sea Style? Yeah, there's your scuba boots. There's nothing. Nothing really in it though. Nothing really in it. That's a weight. That's yeah, for that's scuba, weight. scuba diving. It's for scuba. But this is old stuff. Yeah. There's nothing in there. But you would, I think that would be like you'd carry all yeah, your, your gear flippers in there. and all that stuff. Well, there there are some flippers. flippers in there. I thought that was just yeah. the hard plastic They're going to be old though. They old They're probably there. about the scuba. same time that that old um, scuba mask was bought. Alright, lamp shade. We got some, a little case with some tampons in it. Huh? <laughs> well, we got a case here, and it's mostly empty except for a few shotgun it. shells. A couple little shotgun shells. Um, it looks like it never was open. never opened yet because it's still it's still glued. Yep. So that's what that's gonna be. The it's like a it's a little F Ford F one fifty baby walker. We I think we had one of those before, and it sold pretty quick, and I think they're kind of expensive. Yeah. Skateboard. That's definitely um well worn. Flambro miniature collection. He's broken now. And then another little made in West Germany, Friedel Bavaria. Oh, it's like a little artist or sculpting, kind of almost Hummel-like, but not quite. But it is made in Germany, like like the Hummel. Here's another tackle box. Let's we'll see if this one can be full of the really nice tackle like the other one was. The other one was loaded down with really nice fishing lures. This one, not as good, but there is stuff in it. Well, better stuff down this way. And you open it up. That's a weight right there, Lord. Some brand new hooks. Look at that right there. Top Dog Junior. But we got a bunch of fishing line down in there, brand new. So that's a good one too. Not as good as the other one, but this is still a good tackle box. Definitely an exercise bite. We got a container or slash tote thing here with got a couple games here we got a mine another one another lego set minecraft lego that one might not be all there like the other ones appear to be king me so several games and oh look more shells big old jar full of shells Leah, you can put that in your booth yes okay i'm getting this is falling on me so we're finding Pokemon stuff so kind of scattered. This box is falling onto my leg. What is this? It's, it's yeah. heavy. And this is all the paperwork. Paperwork, paperwork. So that's the, the least fun box we found probably right there. Okay, this has, it's taped up. They taped it up, but there's, I can see cards Okay, there. so they've got cards packed in. This is not taped from the, um, you know, from the store. So they put them in there. These might be all the ones they took out and they packed into these. Oh, look at more cards. These are all packed full of cards. <laughs> more cards. And those are all, so these are probably the ones they took out. More cards. But you know, even the emptied tins and stuff could be sold. Does that have cards in it? Or that's just all the... a bunch of random stuff and a few things. Here, let's open one just to kind of show. 
Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna, I need to get scissors and cut right there so I didn't mess the paper up, but we'll see if we can pull it from this side. See, the thing is, these tapes have been in here and it's been hot in here, so it's kind of all sticky now. So one thing, if you're going to put your stuff in storage, yeah, probably. the packaging tape, be very careful because it gets really hot and then cold and hot and cold. Yeah. Well, I don't know, this not even Pokemon. What is this? Or is it? These are, okay, this these are sleeves. 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 Okay, so these are all. I don't know if it is sleeves. Okay, these are all card sleeves. Cards. Is that what? I don't know. These might be the card sleeves, though. Okay, so we're, we're still looking for the cards. These are all sleeves. But I'm wondering if they're going to have like an album somewhere. That's just kind of weird how they're all... But maybe they didn't put them in here. Maybe they kept them out. So, so we thought we had the cards, but no, it's just going to be sleeves and accessories. We're still looking for the for the cards here. But it's all right if we don't find them because we're finding plenty of good stuff. Here's a whole thing of towels. Don't think they're new necessarily, but they're all nice and clean. Here, we've got a couple of gas pumps. Two gas pumps right here. I don't know, they're both kind of in rough shape. But... Another piece of the Swiss gear luggage, so that makes it a two piece. Looks like it's empty. Yeah. Can you just tell by the way you're holding it. Right, contour next length. It looks like a really nice diabetes thing. It's never been used. We just opened it. Um, well, diabetes meter or whatever you call this thing. Wireless blood glucose monitoring system. That one might be pricey. What do we have here? We got some tools. Oh, we got some ratchet straps. What is this? Satisfaction gear. Some kind of... Some kind of scraper system. I don't know why it's in such a fancy box. But... <laughs> then we got we got a couple gas masks here. Oh, so we got a we got a hard rock box, and it is empty. Oh yeah. All right. We just found an address. We thought they might have lived in Florida, based off of this stuff, and they do have a Hollywood, Florida address. And there's several hard rock hotels and casinos in Florida, so that's probably where they got this. But Leah just found an address over there. Cigar box. Bunch of cards in here. Looks like um, old gift cards, maybe hotel room keys. Nothing, nothing really going on in there. So apparently they must have moved from Florida to here, and what happened, who knows? Sometimes people will move places with plans to do, you know, start a new life and buy a house, build a house, something like that, and then it just doesn't go as planned. TV, like a tray or something, but then it's kind of stuck. Party stuff, favors. Maybe they they spent too much money on stuff and and back. couldn't get it, couldn't couldn't afford a new house or something. But yeah, another fishing row. Look more shells they kept they picked up a lot of shells when they were in florida that is for sure but maybe they left the pokemon cards in florida because another tool belt nike notebook Um, here's another backpack. So t we found a lot of gaming systems in backpacks so far, but doesn't feel like there's much in this one. But there is something. Oh, uh oh, Leah just found a whole bunch of costume jewelry. It looks like it's a very nice looking costume jewelry. What is that? A doll. A doll. Gypsy person. And. There's another doll down in there that's a purse. Yes, bags. 
So there's another there's doll another maybe down there. Yeah. Another purse. It's like MC. Mm. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, just some junk in there. Felt like there was feels like there's still something. Okay, it's all these there's a whole bunch of pennies. I felt that there was a bunch of weight. I guess the weight's coming from the pennies. Tools, extension cords. A bunch of extension cords. Let me get this ramp out of the way. It's about to fall over or ramps. Gallon bucket of shells. <laughs> Colorful. No, be careful when opening. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, it says be careful when opening. Snake. Are you serious? Is there a snake in there? I hope there's not a snake in that there. That doesn't sound like a snake. <laughs> hey, Ann, I got something for you to open. No, it said snake. I don't want a snake. All right, well, let's open it. There's something else in it. If it's a snake, it's like a snake skeleton or something. Because I can hear it like rattling around. Woo! It is a snake. <laughs> it's a plumbing snake. That's funny. It, it, tried, to it tried to get me. That's. It, it, it literally is. It weren't lying. That's funny. Did that on purpose, bro. <laughs> okay. We got a heavy, heavy container here. It's a real snake. Oh no, God, she, stop. This is oh, it's electronics. We got a Pioneer cassette player and a an old Pioneer receiver. Could be worth a few dollars. Receiver. And there's another piece down below it too. It is heavy. You can see where Anne is stacking it up in here. It's got six clasps around it. Camping, well. A tro trophies. trophies and kind of camping stuff. Kind of an odd box. Yeah. Alright, here's a big box here. It says stereos on it. It's full of stereos. They didn't lie. It is stereos. Man. Got a lot of stereos in it. That's a nice one there. That, that's a Marantz. Some of these can be pretty pricey. On a lot of these old receivers and stuff. That's just an RCA. Probably nothing there. Oh, this one's heavy. This box is gonna be really heavy. Huh? That's a Marantz. High current. I might be saying that name wrong, but I mean I know that name. It's a high dollar. High dollar brand. The whole thing is full of them. It's going to be a heavy box to pick up. And grab this right here. I'm it kidding. says Dodge Duran in it. You want me to pick it up? Yeah, it's a whole Dodge Duran or Durango maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, do. It's heavy. I'm going to get the hand truck. It's all like stereo equipment. Oh, okay. It's heavy. Some weird seats. Um. So there's probably, hopefully, some legs in here. They're IKEA. Oh my god. IKEA chairs. A set of four IKEA chairs, but we need the legs that screw in. You, what about this big picture you uncovered? Have you looked at it? It's, Arizona. It is a map of Arizona. Keith will like this. Keith lived in Arizona for a long time. It looks like it's a... Uh, okay, I don't think it's actual, you know, 
showing the topography, but it's just kind of um, wrinkled. I thought it was one that was actually like 3D. Brand new stuff keeps coming. Here's like a whole four box, brand new, it's like slime set or slimy gloop, slimy gloop, yep. And mixy squish. <laughs> All right. Christmas doll, yeah. but we've got a Power Ranger here. This looks like an original. It does. It's got a little wear on him, but this is yet 1993 Bandai Power Ranger. Mm -hmm. uh, some little dolls and stuff in there. Yeah. All right, the Tuscany Collection <laughs> serving set. And it's in there. Nice little serving set that says towels, and I can see on the side yeah, it is towels. towels. So we'll, we'll just leave that one closed. I was gonna pick this up, but we still gotta get this stuff off of it. We've got a crystal growing kit. It's right before your eyes. Crystal growing made in West Germany. So that looks pretty cool if it's in there. There's, stuff in there. There's something in there. There's some pieces and parts in there, but it looks like some pieces and parts are probably missing. Oh my gosh, it's a little, little washing machine. Yes. Something? Little Tykes front load washing machine. Oh my gosh, that's a dryer's in here. Oh. We got some Perry Ellis boots in the Nike box. So one thing with, with these people's stuff we've seen so far, they're really neat, but whatever brand the shoe box says is not gonna be that brand of shoes in there. And here's a toy box. We got Nerf guns. And it just blew up there. Um, sharper image, just probably like laser tag or something. We got a little saw knife here, Camillus. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of toys, a science, science squad, some kind of science toys. All kinds of little stuff in there. This is all goes to the laser tag. Some um, virtual reality goggles in there. Tie-dye studio, they like tie-dye. Real-time gear. This is nice car t car top cargo bag. And then we got the um, the pad that goes underneath it. So you don't scrape the top of your roof up with the cargo bag. And then we got the stereo here. It looks like it's in there. I don't think this has been opened. But it feels right. V-free multimedia shelf stereo system with reactive lights. So more brand new stuff. We got brand new stuff. We got used stuff. We got antique stuff all mixed into this unit. And what do we have here? More Legos. Um, we got a watermelon tube. It's a fruit swim ring. That's empty. But, um, Yep, they're in here. Spider-Man Legos. Beads. Got several little Lego sets. Well, that's a, oh, that's a bead set. See, this is a Christmas present. You can still see the wrapping paper on it. Avengers little motorcycle Lego. More. A, another bag with the Pokemon tins and the sleeves, but no cards. We got a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Lego set. Games, this is a tablet. That, that's not in there, I don't think. What is this a, we got a Pez, is this Ant-Man? Kind of looks like Ant-Man, but not quite. So I don't know. 
But Legos, like more Legos in there. It's a good little box. Smaller sets versus that other one had the big sets. We might need that box that had all the paperwork in it. We probably need to make sure we look through that closely because what if all the Pokemon cards are down in there in sleeves or something? Get a pillow. We got a brand new code names Harry Potter game. It's still in the plastic. And a couple of books. Survival hacks. And we still got a wall of stuff going here. We still got stuff over here. It's the unit that just keeps on giving. Almost everything in the unit is sellable merchandise. What is this? I think this is off of a boat. I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's off of a boat. Work gloves. Some rope. I think I'll fix the flat. And a whole bunch of is this air hose? Yeah. Well, good lord, look at all this air hose right here. Man, that's a ton of air hose. Another box up here, let's see. Um hardware. Just miscellaneous hardware and that kind of stuff. So this is like the garage section over here. This was kind of like the household section on this side. Don't let Leah see this. It's a bunch of Bath and Body Works candles, but they've been used. It's a bunch of candles. A lot of them are pretty heavily used, but some of them have a bit left in them. Some of them are like all the way used. Oh, Leah just opened this duffel, and this is um, scuba gear. Ooh, wow, look at this. This is some of the, sometimes when you get the expensive stuff is on some of these regulators and stuff. I've had some before that went for a lot of money. Whether or not any of this will, I don't know. I mean, it's newer than that other stuff, but it's not super new. Some nuts yeah, all kinds of, um, whole set of scuba gear here. But sometimes just like stuff like this can be pretty expensive. But it's got the vest and everything here. A whole bunch of stuff in there. Mm-hmm. All right, over here, I moved all those hoses. I put them on the truck, and we got more tools down underneath. That's like a sleeping bag. But look, there's all these buckets here. Let's set that in there. Camping chair. Look, all these pieces. These are some kind of some ornate. I guess these are the tops for um for a fence post. We got a grinder. Lots of hand tools and stuff. Look right here. Lots of hand tools. It's like pruners, saws. Look at the handle on this hacksaw right here. Um, more tool. Oh, that's got hardware in it falling out. We got a big old crowbar. We got an auger. So lots of lots of tools here. Then we got a couple of um we got the old can here. A little bit not quite as old gas can. And now we move that stuff over in here. We got an old fan, and then we got a couple of um, couple ramps, extension cords. So lots of goodies right in this area. Moving back here, we got we've been putting a few Christmas things on. We got some brand new Christmas wrapping paper. We got a couple of vintage. Oh, and she just smashed her foot. You all right? What in the world is this that fell on you? Oh, like a thousand pounds. It's like an old record player or something. Somehow that opens. Your foot broke it. I think it broke my foot. It's a projector. I'll just get you. You'll be all right. When something heavy falls on your foot, it feels like it's broken at first. 
just takes a minute. Oh, we got a whole box of Playboys, unless it's something different underneath. Nope, all Playboys. But we're back here, we got some like, an old Nordic track, and another look at this vintage ergometer stationary bike. And her foot slowly is getting better, we hope. All right, we've uncovered another cabinet here. I'm about to yep, open up. There's a trunk back here, all the way in the back corner. Look, a couple cases, so, lots Minecraft of boxes. Up, oh, Leah just found new Minecraft sheets oh, and a set. comforter set. So the whole deal for a Minecraft bed right there. And then when we're kind of looking here, there's lots of boxes still. There's an old um, little small piece of luggage, like the cosmetic case. Let's see what is in here. And it looks like a tool goodie bin. We got a big old crowbar. We got spreaders. We got um, extension cords. Lots of extension cords here. And down below it. Uh oh, I see something. I see DeWalt down here. If I can, if I can get it to open. Well, we got a big DeWalt case here. Is there anything in it? And yeah, we got the DeWalt reciprocating saw. Okay, let's keep on going because it looks like another DeWalt tool. Here, it's a nail gun maybe. Yep, and it is in here. DeWalt nail gun. That's a good one. And then besides that, we got jigsaw circular saw another reciprocating saw a work light one more drawer here and this thing is jammed full of tools also like concrete masonry tools jack stand triangles all kinds of stuff chalk line but loaded down with tools the whole thing what was in the box there leah got a Shore Lunch brand stackable drying racks for making um, beef jerky for use with Shore Lunch jerky seasoning kits. There we go. Looks like it's been it's been opened, but it doesn't look like it's been used. Pink boxing gloves and a lunch box plus Christmas slash winter window cleans. It's a lot of stuff in that tiny box right there. If you can get it open, yeah. Um, let's see if there's here. Watch out. We're gonna... Come on. There you go. There is a lunch box. I don't have it. It's not in my pocket. So lunch box it's exactly what it said lunch box and, so and really dry riding yeah. <laughs> got a buffer polisher lots of paint we already found a bunch of paint but look at all this man that's a lot of acrylic paint most of them look full most of them look like they're new actually What does it say? This is it's from Ikea. I don't know. Ikea... What in the world? An RTS wrap? <laughs> um, I think that's what it is. It looks all... Factors. Whatever an Ikea RTS wrap is. Oh, I was hoping it was uh, <laughs> rollable eggs. This isn't paperwork. <laughs> oh, and a box of paperwork. And Pokemon? No, no Pokemon. Well, there is not a bag of Pokemon stuff in here, but I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, at this point, I don't start to think they probably didn't put the Pokemon cards in here. Mm -hmm. Got a set of shoulder pads. Nice looking shoulder pads. 
football shoulder pads. This says paint supplies on it. And that is exactly what it is there. Rollers, tape, lots of spray paint. Look at that, full, that's good, full. Got a whole big roll of caution tape. Roll covers. That's heavy right there. Man. Oh, this is this is more diving gear. It's a weighted belt. What is this? Magzamira. Something from Ikea. Maximera. I don't know what it goes on. Some... <laughs> don't know what it's for. I have to look it up. Google it and it'll... Why well, you'd have a whole case of that. An odd part like that. This looks like more paint supplies. Well, down here look, tools. Ryobi tools down in there. This is like, this is like paint supplies and then there's several power tools down in the container here. This one's kind of heavy. And Leah just pulled out this brand new Adventure Force Great Ape Escape toy here. empty but it's nice it's got the plastic tray and everything yep leah just claimed this for her booth it's pretty nice needs a little cleanup but overall there's no actual major damage and it, with it still having that tray that's good this is nice it's a calming cozy massaging heating wrap and it's in there yep <laughs> more of the pokemon tins but just like the other ones there's not any cards in these we don't think Please. I mean, these, these random things with one that, whatever that one card was they didn't like yep yeah, they're all just sleeves Lord. and a big Look lighter collection I mean, if all these cards would have been in, in these tins, that would have been awesome. Because there would have been so many of them. Some kind of car parts. Or a Nissan. garage kind of supplies some brand new um coolant all that kind of stuff come on what in the world is this for a fishing pole fishing poles like for a boat I think you mount them on and then your poles go in there yeah, it's like boat boat part packaging 
Yeah, there's like pieces and parts and stuff down in there. More garage supplies. Paint. Paint. Carbon choke spray. All that kind of stuff down in there. This thing's gonna be heavy, but I almost got it clear to load. It looks like more tools right here. Whole another bag of tools. Well, not very big one, but there's tools. What do we have here? Mac Tools Aluminum Manifold Gauge Set. That's what, there's other stuff in here. I think that's what this is. But there's all kinds of stuff just thrown in there with it. Regular tools. A socket set. Um, not, definitely not complete. Maybe half or a little more than half. We got a little PV amp here it's seen better days but a pv rage amp oh and she found oh my she found a lady bag here this is expensive it's got estee lauder and all kinds of there's an I mean, estee this, lauder this bag this is like a hundred dollars easy just right here oh my god it's yeah. all it's full of yeah. estee lauder it's like cosmetics. Long home. Yeah. I mean, long home. Estee Lauder. Clinique. Long home. Okay. This is so like, it's all nice, expensive stuff and nice, clean little bags in there.